everyone and welcome back to another video so a lot of you guys have actually requested um what uh video editing software i use and really just overall how i make my videos uh i'll put some comments up on screen of uh, people who've done it and uh, yeah so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i make my videos and yeah enjoy the video also if you guys are enjoying my videos make sure you guys go ahead and click the subscribe button it really helps me out and i would really appreciate it Okay, so now I'm going to be talking about my uh, recording software. So I use Bandicam. Yeah, I'm actually recording right now. What do you think I'm using to record? So if you guys are uh, actually have a decent computer, unlike me, uh, you guys should probably be using uh, OBS. It's open broadcast software. So you just search it up right here. This, this is their official website, obsproject.com. Uh, you can just click Windows and download it. My computer's too slow for it. That's probably unlikely because... My computer is just no. Like, even if you think you have a bad computer, it still can probably do OBS not that bad. Because my computer is just the worst of the worst. So, yeah, that's... The, I don't really have much to say about my uh, video recording software. Um, I record at... Uh, I record at uh, 190, uh, 120 by 180. So, basically, 180p, 60fps. Yes, I have an extremely bad uh, uh, CPU. Uh, quality at 100, that stuff, maximum, yeah, that, that's just it, not really much. So yeah, that's all it, but, uh, here's the big part that I made going over, is what editing software I use. So, yeah, let's get on with that. So basically, I actually used to use Movavi, which is this right here. Um, like, for the past, like, a uh, week maybe, I've been trying out Filmora, uh, 9. That's the one, I'm gonna be going over both of them today, so yeah. So if we open up Movavi right here, I think it's like $60, something around like that. Um, so it isn't too expensive, but I mean, if you're looking for like a free software, I would recommend DaVinci Resolve or, yeah, really DaVinci Resolve. Uh, there might be simpler ones out there, but they probably have a watermark. I mean, for more on 9, you can do the free version. It just has a watermark, and it can get annoying. But, yeah. So, I basically just click New Project, do editing stuff. So, it has a uh, amount of titles. Not that many. That's what I don't really like about this one. There's a better version that has more stuff, but this one doesn't really have much. And then this one have stuff. Not really... Oh, the one thing I really hate is, like, the effects. They're, you, you can't really edit it. So, you see, like, that? Like, uh, you might have seen that sometimes in my videos. A lot of time, uh, a lot of times, I like to um, make it more intense. But you cannot edit any of these. Uh, but I will show you guys that, that Filmora 9 can uh, edit them. And Filmora 9 is overall a lot better, though it is more expensive. So, yeah, let's just go over to Filmora 9 because I don't really use this anymore. So, yeah. Also, while we're waiting, um, uh, Bandicam isn't that great if you can't afford it like me. Uh, so, um, basically, you have a watermark. You probably see right up here, uh, Bandic www.bandicam.com. Yeah, it's quite annoying. You have to pay, like, 36 bucks for it, and I don't want to pay that. So, there also, well, this is the most annoying one, is there's a 10-minute recording limit. And I just hate that a lot, so it isn't the best screen recording. OBS, no watermark, way higher quality. Uh, it records, uh, you have unlimited recording time. It's just overall a lot better. But, like I said, my computer is too crappy. Okay, so I just click uh, a widescreen. Yeah, you can choose whatever you want. Uh, new project, open up for more 9. And here is the big deal. So I'm just going to put in a... Uh, a dual thing imaging so i'm gonna mute the volume because yeah also i don't own this so you'll probably see it in the intro i don't own it yeah there you go so what i like to do is i like to find uh well let's just pretend like it just starts off like this first of all i don't know oh okay here we go so i'm gonna start like that what i really like is the cutting button it's right there really simple just delete that okay so now uh Let's say I want it to stop right here. Cut that. Let's say I want it to continue to the next round. So, here. Let me go right here. Okay, so you die right here. Alrighty. And then pause. Cut that. Delete all this because we don't want it at all. 
And then now, if we look right here, it goes from this round, and then it goes to the next round. So, yeah, there's also transitions. Uh, this one has a lot cooler transitions. Uh, I really like the roll, fisheye roll. Let's just smack this into here. Why not? Uh, you can also make it shorter, obviously. Uh, there's also a lot more advanced settings for Filmora 9. So, basically, if we just look over here, play it, you see it. Pretty cool transitions. I really like it. You guys should definitely get Filmora 9. Not sponsored at all, but I'll get sponsored by someone maybe 10 million years. So I may do a more advanced Filmora 9 tutorial later on, but I don't really have too much to make a video on. Uh, video game content has been really dry lately. Uh, Arsenal update is dog crap. Arsenal's not fun anymore. I haven't really played in a while. But um, yeah, that is going to be the end of the video. <laughs> yes, I did end that early great big deal uh make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and click the like button very much appreciate it and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye